TV, uh-huh. YouTube, interwebs, we're dudes, good friends, couple guests, lots of laughs, all these dudes, hot and crap, you're now tuned in, enjoy the shit, from Portland, Maine, it's That's Just It, That's Just It. for tuning in to That's Just It, the uh, very first edition of this show. We're going to be bringing you the best in conversation between, uh, with some of the greatest artists and musicians in our fair city of Portland and beyond. I'm uh, one of the co-hosts for this uh, shindig. My name is Connor McGrath, and I'd like to introduce to you uh, my, my co-host for this evening and for many evenings to come, the human exclamation point uh, the party animal, Kurt Baker. That's me. Hi, everybody. My name's Kurt Baker. Tonight we have a very, 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 very special guest. He is a martyr, a piano craftsman of the keys, and an all-around great guy, all the way from Standish, Maine, Ken Rogers, everybody. It's Chris Rogers. Cr- Chris yeah. Rogers. Chris. Sorry about that, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Well, welcome to the show. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thanks a lot for having me, guys. Oh, anytime. Thanks for, for coming out for our first episode. We're uh, really excited to ask you all kinds of different questions. Really, you know, get to know the Chris right. Rogers. Get beneath, get beneath the, the shiny surface and get to the... That get to glean. The, the glean. Get beneath the glean and yeah. know the emotional... What's the emotional torment of Chris Rogers? We want to know what makes you tick. Ask away, guys. Oh, great. Well, okay, let's see here. Well, we've got a couple questions for you. I hope you don't mind asking. Uh, or <laughs> we're going to ask you, so I hope you don't mind answering. That's what I meant. Anyway, so how are your cats doing? My cats are awesome. Uh, today I woke up, actually, and Girl Cat, who's a big fluffy cat that I have, Girl Cat, was waiting at the bottom of the stairs, giving me that, like, super bitchy look she gives me every day. Uh, and then, yeah, and then I have the Blues Brothers, Jake and Elwood, and they're... They're doing stuff cats do. <laughs> Which Even. is not much. No, yeah. no. Every day is the best day ever for yes. them, you know? Cats are crazy. Yeah. You have a, so how many cats do you have? We have three cats. Three cats. And they, they have lice? No. <laughs> fleas? <laughs> they used to have fleas, oh, yeah. Fleas. <laughs> yeah, fleas. Uh, but that's all. That's, Which lice that's history. Is, for, like, fleas for cats is like dudes with lice. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, it's pretty gross. It sucks, Fleas are, huh? are, are, are cats' lice. Fleas are cats' lice. Or lice is humans' fleas. Lice is humans' fleas. Yeah. I've actually seen Girl Cat, and I must say that her coat is stunning. Do you use, like, a special uh, shampoo or something? No, no. She, it's, all, it's all self-taken care of by all herself. Self-taken. Yeah, she's, she's pretty sufficient. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Now, now speaking of hair, I do have a question about uh, follicular matters. Oh, I heard that when Chris grows his hair out long, that he looks like a lesbian. Oh, is that true? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> really? Have you ever been mistaken? Yes. Yeah. You have. Yeah. Tell us about it. I was. I uh, just. I don't know. Like four or five years ago, I was. I was valeting cars in Boston, and I was just st- standing outside the restaurant. I had hair like to my shoulders, and. This li- just like behind me, this lady taps me on the shoulder and she's like, "Excuse me, miss." And I just turned around. I had like a beard and stuff, you know. And so I <laughs> turned around. And she just was like, "What?" And she's like, "I'm so sorry." And I was just like, "Time to cut my hair." Yeah. Did yeah. you get a buzz or something? Yeah. Every like three months, I just like go to, to like supercuts or something like uh-huh. that. So since you haven't ever been. No, no, I, I definitely, I keep it sort of, bo- you know, above the lesbian line. Right. Lesbian, yeah. The lesbian yeah. line, yes. I uh, mean, I get confused sometimes for a lesbian. I think it's just because I have a generally lesbian-like fashion sense, but especially when I went to the University of Maine at Farmington, people would shout out, like, dyke at me oh, out of their no. car windows when I was walking by, and I was just like, it didn't make sense. I, nothing against lesbians. I just, nothing against, it's, no. It's just, I'm sure that... You know, any girl would, who or is or isn't a lesbian would be offended if they were called a guy. Yeah. It's the same sort of thing. I'm yeah. sure if a lesbian was somebody said, hey, it's Conor McGrath to a lesbian, they'd be very offended as well. Right. I get offended when people uh, compare me to Beetlejuice. <laughs> I don't look like Beetlejuice. Art Garfunkel, maybe. And even so, I was down in a basement somewhere at a party or whatever, and uh, this chick came down, and she was like, 
I want to talk to that Art Garfunkel motherfucker. And I was like, well, that's me. <laughs> I was once confused for Jay Leno. That was very... Oh, that was nice. I don't know. I was, I was kind of offended by it. Really? I, was also, I also got uh, Truman Capote once. Damn. Yeah. That's kind of old. Old school. Old school? Yeah. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> well, enough about us. We want to talk about you, yeah, Chris. Yeah, let's, let's talk about Chris. It. Chris Rogers. Yeah. All the way from Standish, Maine, huh? Standish, yeah. Keyboard player, too, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a weird thing to do from Standish. But. Just reading your bio, it says here, as a keyboard player, you get a really authentic sounds with your keyboard. Yeah, I do, yeah. How, do you, how does one, you know, it's, it's really important because, uh, I mean, to, to go back, you know, Fingers here, he's a, he's, he, he plays piano, but, uh, you know, as most piano players, they can't, you know, lug a huge grand piano to shows every, uh, every time because it's almost impossible. Um, you're not Liberace yet. No. So, uh, so, yeah, explain. What, what, what kind of gear you got, man, for all your gearheads out there? Uh, well, I mean, I, I have to just say just, you know, to, to the guys who endorse me over at Casio. Casio, yeah. You know, the Casio Privia, it's affordable, it's awesome. Big shout out there, big plug. Yeah, well, I have to do it. It's legal. And sort of authentic thing. sounds. Yeah. And, you know, it's got eight sounds or something like that. And put it through a great Fender amp, and that's it. That's all I do. Do you, uh, do you have a DJ setting? Uh, yeah, I can make turntable sounds. DJ. Yeah. I love those. Those are my favorite. Every once in a while, I, I have to call it out. So. Yeah. That's Plant great. Biscuit and oh, stuff. man. Well, I'm just excited to have you. Like, we've been trying, we've been trying to get this guy in for <laughs> months. Months, yeah. Yeah, we've been trying to do this show for months, and yeah. finally, finally, it's all coming together. So, it's so that's just good. that's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Now, I gotta ask you this. Now, your old band, uh, Highway Jackson, right? Yeah. Now they had a song featured in a movie produced by Fifty Cent's production company. Yeah. So, at any point, did you ever think of asking to receive your royalties in vitamin water instead of money, <laughs> since yeah. Fifty Cent has that big, he owns vitamin water? Uh, I didn't. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to Fifty Cent and stuff, but you didn't have a lot of personal I, contact no, with him. No, no. <laughs> I did. I did get an invitation for the red carpet event which wasn't real I, for all it was great it, it would have been a great thing to go to, to, to meet but, Fiddy. but yeah it where, was, where was this it was in hollywood in hollywood really, oh. really crappy theater i guess oh, no. i had to pay for my own plane ticket to go and everything i didn't go obviously mm -hmm. and the movie what was the movie exit strategy exit strategy yeah it stars kevin hart too he's, he's a pretty funny guy kevin hart. kevin hart yeah yeah but they you know we didn't get much money so it would have been great to get some vitamin water instead. Just a big, like, yeah, a big case of vitamin water. You should try and get an endorsement from vitamin water. Vitamin like water makes me pee a lot. Well, and that's what I it's have supposed to, pee to do. A lot, I, I don't know. That just shows you the vitamins are working. People yeah. say if you pee a lot because of the vitamins. I don't know. It's, it's a good thing. It means the vitamins, you've absorbed the proper amount of vitamins. That's good. Yeah, you used to work at a vitamin shop, didn't I you? I did. I used to sell vitamins very briefly. You know all about that stuff. Yeah. Make your, tea, your pee turn green. Right. A very, like, a Mountain Dew color. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's quite it's awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. Now, figures, uh, we talked about Liberace earlier. Now, like Liberace, have you ever thought of wearing a stylish cape on stage? Or, like, some finger rings while you play the piano? No, I'm, yeah, Just I to, guess. like, jazz it up a little bit? Yeah, but Elton John, like, sort of did that years ago. And you Elton can't, John. You just can't be, yeah, you just can't be, you can't do it again. I would love to. I thought of that, and then I had, you know, I did some research to make sure nobody else had done that, but that no. was wrong. Captain Fantastic and just all, you know, the capes, rings, all sorts of right. wigs, all that. Yeah, stuff. but B Billy Joel did piano bars before, and it, he still do piano bars. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. the master of the piano bar. Right? How many times do you think you've played that song, Piano Man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Too many times. Uh, what's that? They Maybe more than Billy Joel. Uh, there, there's a lyric that people change for that song, right? Or is that a different one? I don't remember. Which uh, one? Piano Man? The, I mean, maybe if it's a Tuesday night instead of a Saturday night. Yeah. There's, a, there's it's that Thursday one. night, Dead Baba Sulky <laughs> Loud. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> no, no, I'm thinking of a different song. Might not even be by Billy Joel. Probably not. I don't know. White Snake or something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's like Motley Crue. Motley Crue. 
Oh, I wish I could remember that. Darn it. Anyway, moving on. Uh, tell us about the high peanut butter pie. Oh, it's just it's just peanut butter <laughs> pie at I can't even say the name of the restaurant the correct way. It's like Rustlers or something like that. R Rustlers. Rustlers. It used to be Charlie Biggs in in Wyndham. Oh uh, yeah, they've got just a killer high peanut butter. High pie. peanut butter. <laughs> high peanut butter I pie. really <laughs> I saw a photo of this pie and I want a whole one for for me to just, you know, veg out on my couch, eat some pie. They've got it's like got chocolate. Yeah, I've actually never got it before. Oh. <laughs> But, but yeah, it's got it's pretty intense. Intense. I mean, it's called who would call a pie the high peanut butter pie? High peanut butter pie. That's amazing. Yeah, it's great. So, amongst you know, doing the piano bars and the uh, the high peanut butter pies and all that, um, you uh, you're you're quite good at uh, impressions. I hear. It's not. Yeah, I guess so. It's not. I just sort of like pick up on what people how they talk to me and stuff, yes. so, and then make fun of them behind their back later. It's really kind of bad. Well, but, yeah. We love you for it. Yeah. <laughs> why don't Why don't you uh, share with the guests some uh, some impressions? I know that there's a there's there's someone that's very mainish, maybe that you've run into uh, around Standish, Rock City, or something yeah. like that. You know, if you were to spark up a conversation with them, uh, maybe wh what would it what would it be like? <laughs> Uh, I've had conversations with lot, lots of different, I guess, Mainers about fish and sorts of stuff like that. And I guess if you were going to talk about fishing, you uh, and maybe like a fish problem that we're having in the country right now. Are we having a fish problem? Yeah. Well, I'll, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Get ready. Well, we've got these fish. These huge fucking fish, and they're flying out of the water. There's no end to them. And they've got no predatory fish or nothing like that to eat them, you know, to, to kind of control the population. And these fucking fish, they're huge fucking fish. But so, yeah. That's, that's, that's great. Like, yeah. Thank you for sharing with us. It's a real conversation. It's real. Yeah. It's real stuff. It's <laughs> real Maine. Real Maine. Real Maine. Light. It's not the, yeah, it's not the, the Portland... That's just it, man. We're getting the That's real just it. stuff. We're getting the real right main. Now. Yeah, just stay, amazing. Just stay tuned from our future episode uh, from Waterboro. Oh yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna bring this on tour. All the public access stations yeah. in Maine. We're gonna we're gonna bring this That's on tour. That's right. Now I I want to I want to know how you you got the nickname Fingers. Was it because uh, of your piano playing, or were you caught shoplifting at some point? No. Uh, Have you ever shoplifted? Yeah, one time. One right? time. Yeah. What'd you steal? A fishing lure. <laughs> of all things. And it all comes back. <laughs> yeah, full all. circle, full circle. Oh, I was I was just like a young kid then. But uh fingers, <laughs> the fingers thing. Did you give yourself the nickname? No, absolutely. Not? Okay, not. good. No. Good. No. I was playing, I guess I will, I just like everybody will be anonymous, I guess. But I was playing in this band. First time I ever played with the band and uh just one of the dudes in the band was like, we're not really, we don't really need to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the time. We got, he, yeah, we got one time for one more story. We're running out, we're running out of time. It's really not, it's not important. All you need to know is that his name is Fingers and he rocks the keyboards, his lore of the keyboard. But uh, if we have, we have time for one more question, why don't you. Uh, All right, we want it, the, the story needs, the, the world needs to hear this story. You've told this story countless times to me and Kurt. Please tell us about the time you got mugged in Hamburg, Germany. No. <laughs> Please. Uh, yeah. Please. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I did get mugged in, or pickpocketed, I guess is the is the correct term in Hamburg. Uh, Kurt was there. Briefly, uh, we were all hanging out at this at this bar after a show that we had played, and Kurt had left with some friends, and I stayed behind with some other friends, and I don't know, I was outside the bar and. Somehow I was by myself and I had been, you know, if, if you're an American in Europe, you're kind of on your phone all the time looking for Wi-Fi signals and things like that to get online and just kind of check in with people, Teetering. especially when you're six hours ahead. So it was like 3.30 in the morning, but, you know, that's only what, like 9.30 or 10 or something like that over there or oh, back home. So anyways, I'm on my phone. I put my phone away and, and just like, I don't know, two seconds later, these two like Turkish guys or something, something like that. Uh, come up to me and they start asking me about my belt and like my belt looked kind of funny 
and I had like drank a few beers, you know. So like it was, I, you know, kind of trying to be like a nice, cool guy. I'm out like the, I'm outside this bar. There's tons. There's windows outside the bar. There's tons of people inside. Like I'm not gonna get mugged just standing outside of a bar, you know. But no, lo and behold, he starts like yanking on my belt, <laughs> telling me that my belt, I need a new belt and this and that. And I was like, I'm all set. I don't need a new belt. And I had my wallet and my phone in my front pocket. And all of a sudden, the two guys were like, oh, no, no, you're OK. You're OK. You, you know, we'll go. Your belt is Have fine. a great, yeah, your belt is fine. Have a great night. And <laughs> so they're walking away. And I'm like, wait a minute. That was kind of weird. And I start like, look, you know, feel my pockets. And thank God my wallet was still there, but my phone was gone. And so I. I don't know why, but I just went after them. You had the courage. Yeah, yeah. The, the, maybe the, like, the drunken courage, I guess, to, to run like, down the street after these two guys. And I was like, hey, you took my phone, man. Give it back. And they were like, oh, we didn't take your phone. And I was like, yeah, well, two seconds before I talked to you guys, I had my phone, and now it's gone. So you definitely took it. And, there, and, I, and I almost threatened to call the police on the phone that they had. <laughs> yeah. Give me, let me borrow your phone. <laughs> Give me my phone back. I'm going to call the police. You yeah. can have it back till then so they know you stole it. <laughs> but, you know, and, and I'm just like kind of like looking back to like our friends will come out of the bar at any minute. And we had a big like tour manager with us. And I was like, oh, man, when he comes out, you know, these guys are going to get it. And I'm going to get my phone back. It's going to be great. And nobody ever came out. And I'm just sort of sitting out there and looking around. And I'll, I'm more alone than I really realize, like up the street or whatever. And I, but I keep saying, like, I know that you have my phone. So what these two guys do is they just they unbutton their pants and, like, their belt and everything. And they just drop their pants and fully exposed. And they're like, we don't have anything. See, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. And at that point, I was just like, all right, yeah. not even worth it. Take so. it. The phone is yours. <laughs> so you lost your phone, saw two dongs. Yeah. 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 Ah. Rough well, night. That's 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 Germany, I guess, for you, right? Yeah. Other than that, Hamburg was like a you know, amazing. But Man. that that was something that it'll never happen again. I can tell you that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. That's amazing. Well, thank you for spending time with us, Chris Rogers. Uh, everybody out there. Uh, follow Chris Rogers Music on Facebook. On uh, where, where else are you on? Uh, K Rogers Music on Twitter. K Rogers Twitter, Music on yeah. Twitter. Band you still camp. have a MySpace? I don't know. No MySpace. No. What's up, man? What's up with I MySpace? Got, yeah. <laughs> so my, if my uncle wants to check this out, he's yeah. not going to be able to. But uh, <laughs> but yeah, he's got. You'll find some great tunes there. He is playing out in Portland. You'll find out all that information. Oh, I brought you guys some CDs too. Oh, really? Like, really? Great. This is the best part of hosting a show. Yes. You get all this free swag. Love free stuff. I've been trying to get Connor's address to send him for a while, but he won't answer you know, my call. And I have been actually just looking for a new coaster too. <laughs> just <laughs> <don't> <laughs> get... No, just kidding. This is uh, Chris's CD. Uh, the bass player on it is fantastic. Drumming is pretty good too. Yeah. And this is uh, this is Chris Rogers. Don't for don't forget that he is the man. Don't show him your dong or steal his phone. But uh, the rest, well, that's just it, I guess. That's just it. Right? Yeah, I'm Connor McGrath. Mm -hmm. And He's I'm Kurt, Kurt Baker. Baker. This is Ken Chris Rogers. All right. Thank you guys so much for coming in and uh, viewing the show and. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, guys. We're going to go get some high peanut butter pie. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right, good night, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Just a pleasure, man. That's just it. That's what's up. Come on down. Let's have a talk. That's just it. That's what's what. Party hard. Portland, Maine. It's that's just it. That's just it. That's what's up.